today we are going to be creating a coffee filter snowflake. We have a painting paper on the bottom to protect our table. The coffee filters are really thin, so you're gonna want one, two paper towels all the way stretched out in front of you, and then your filter will go on top. On the back side of the filter, you're going to put your name and your class. Flip it over, and this will be the side that we paint on. At your table, you have a plate of watercolor paints, a purple, dark blue, and kind of an aqua light blue. What you're gonna be doing today is using all three of those colors to paint the filter until there's no white spaces left on the coffee filter. When you paint, it doesn't matter which color you start with, but when you do, you're gonna paint about the size of your hand before you move on to the next color. When you're finished with one color, just wipe it on the side of your paper towel. You can rotate the plate and use a new color. When you're finished painting all three colors, the entire coffee filter should be filled in. You can rest your brush on your plate. You're gonna be taking four Q-tips today. The first one, we're gonna use Elmer's glue. Remember when you use Elmer's glue, you just untwist it, shake it upside down, and we do dot, dot, not a lot. Do a dot there and a dot there. And you wanna line that up right in the middle of your coffee filter. It's okay if you have too much glue because it's going to end up drying clear. On the next Q-tip, do the same thing. Now what I've created is kind of a T. Our other two Q-tips we have to cut in half first. So using your scissors, open them up wide like an alligator. It's kind of hard to cut, so chop, chop, chop the best way you can. And we're gonna glue. To finish it off, put a little blob of glue right in the middle to keep everything together. And like I said, that will dry clear, so that will look very nice when it's finished. When you're finished with the glue, remember to close it all the way. And you could even take your napkin and wipe off the tip of it. The whole project, painting paper and all, is going to go on the drying rack. Remember, go on the bottom row. The next person will go one row up and so forth until everyone's projects are on the drying rack. If you have a little paint on your table, remember to wash that area.